Okay, another question. Okay, zero impulse. Okay, now we go to zero impulse. Okay, from this transfer function, let's say this one. Huh? From this transfer function, we can see that the arrangement will be like this. Huh? GS is equal to blah, 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 over blah, 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 blah. This one. This one we call numerator. 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 Uh, the bottom one we call denominator. Okay. Dia dapat, kita dapat, okay, dia macam ni lah. S, C, S, by 2, S power of 2, where we go, that, the arrangement like that. So, the arrangement, okay, S, S power of M, S power of M minus 1, S, this one is S power of 0, sorry, this one is power 1, this one is S power of 0. This one is for the numerator, and also for numerator. For denominator ko, pun macam tu, S power of N, S power of N minus 1, S power of 1, S power of 0. Okay, eh? the arrangement of transformation like this. Then we can change, we can change to the standard transfer function, we call it zero and pull. Okay, we tukar, kita, we factor, we factor, factor kan sini into like this. S plus blah blah blah, S plus blah blah blah. This one is uh, we factor for numerator, factor lah. Numerator, numerator factor and also denominator we factor it. So we will get this kind of arrangement. S plus Z. S plus Z2, S plus ZM. For uh, numerator and also same as for denominator. S plus blah, 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 S blah, blah, okay? Okay, yeah. Now we change this one to this standard, standard form. This one we call zero and poles form. Zero and pole. Okay? We can see that top one, top part is zero, bottom part is pole. The number ni. This one is we call zero one zero two and zero m this one is called pole one pole two pole m okay guys we factor it okay that any question no problem no okay so uh, i'm going to show one example what is zero what is pole Okay, let's say we have a simple, a simple, uh, just a simple GS. Huh? Okay, okay. Before that, this equation, this numerator, for example, lah, we have, contohnya lah kan, kita ada, we have G S equal to, this is just, just an example, G S equal to uh, S, uh, minus one uh, s plus two divide by uh, let's say uh, s uh, plus three s plus four okay for example uh, this is this is just an example so what is uh, value of zero what is value of poles Okay, to, to, to determine value, value of poles, so value of zeros, okay, zero. What is zero? Okay, zero. Z, 
zero is value of s value of s that make uh, our transfer function uh, our transfer equal to infinity okay zero is the value of s that make transfer function equal to infinity Okay, what is the value of S that make transfer equal to, uh, equal to infinity? Pole block, poles, sorry, poles is the value of S that make transfer function equal to zero. Oh, sorry, sorry, to <laughs> Sorry, zero equal to zero lah. Sorry, sorry. Whole infinity. Zero. The value of S that make transformation equal to zero. Poles is the value of S that make transformation equal to infinity. So how to get this? How to get this one? To get this one, Okay, macam mana dapat ni? Numerator equal to zero lah. This one, denominator, denominator equal to zero. Okay, numerator, this numerator is part. Numerator, okay, kalau if top part equal to zero, zero divide by anything, so our equation will become zero. So what is the value of S that make our transformation equal to zero? For this one, okay, numerator equal to zero. S minus one, S plus two equal to zero. So S will be equal to 1 and minus 2 lah kan? If S equal to 1, so the denominator will become 0. If S equal to minus 2, this one also equal to 0. Okay tak ni? Hello? Okay sir. Okay? Yes sir. Okay? Okay sir. Ah okay. Okay, kalau uh, so... What is the value of pole? Value of pole, our denominator equal to zero. Eh? Anything divided by zero will become infinity. Yeah? Can anything divide anything divided by zero equal to infinity? So the value of pole will be we take this one. Eh? S plus three, S plus four equal to zero. So S will be equal to minus three. Minus four and okay, that for for this question, uh, this is just uh, assume uh, for this example, this equation. So from this equation, now we can plot our zero and poles. How to plot zero pole? Okay, uh, S domain. Uh. This is our S domain. S plane. S plane. This one is J omega. This one is uh, sigma. Or real. Real. Imaginary. Okay. Uh, okay. For this, for this transformation, we have to plot our and our S plane. So zero is okay. To plot zero, zero to plot again symbol zero like this zero. For pole, the symbol is X. 
So what is zero? Zero is s equal to minus, s equal to one, and s equal to minus two. Okay, this is one. Okay, zero here. Just draw a circle here. Eh? So minus two. Sorry, yeah. minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. So the second zero is here. Okay, we have zero at one and zero at minus two. Okay, oh. zero at one and zero at minus two. <laughs> Poles? Pole, we have minus three and minus four. Okay, pole, I cross here. Yeah. Okay, this is plot of uh, zero and pole. All right. This is what we call zero and poles. From our equation, okay, so dam jenikan. Okay, we get, we derive, we, we solve this equation, then we get this kind of equation. Then from that equation, we simplify, we factor it. We factor that equation. So when we factor the equation, we, we get this kind of factor. So we will get the value of zero and poles. When we get, after that, we plot it in our S-plane graph. Okay, like this. This is plot of zero and poles. Okay. Uh, the Yes. Yang graph, yang graph ni. Uh, okay. Pak si Y dengan pak si X tu apa? Ah, uh, pak si Y. Eh? This one is S plane. S plane. We have real, real is sigma. Can S domain and S domain. Uh. S domain. We have uh, S domain sigma plus j omega. Which domain? This one is sigma. This one is j omega. Oh, yang saya masukkan je perkataan yang atas tu. Yang atas simbol. Sorry? Oh, ni lah. Eh? This one lah. Oh. oh, yang perkataan. Imaginary. Imaginary. Imaginary, imaginary, imaginary number, real j. number. J, imaginary number. This one is real number. This one is imaginary number. Oh, okay, get out. Thank you. Okay, eh? real number and imaginary number. Complex, complex domain, complex as complex frequency. Okay, complex frequency. Kalau nak ni, kita tengok dalam saya punya ada saya bagi video from trans, transformation from transformation from T domain to frequency domain. Ya. Yeah? T domain from frequency. T domain, kita tahu T domain, this one is T. This one is amplitude. Okay, T, normal lah. T, function of T. Then we convert to uh, W or frequency domain. Then convert to S domain. Okay. Okay, now we, we are in S domain lah. Kat sini. We are here. Okay, from T domain to frequency domain, we use a uh, Fourier, Fourier transform, Fourier transform. Okay, well, this one is T domain in just uh, real number, uh, image number, omega only. So oh, frequency domain, we have a complex number and non-complex number. For complex number, we have S plane. Okay, this one is uh, what we call zero impulse plot. Okay. So far okay tak? Dia punya flow tu. Flow from, from transfer function, then we go to zero impulse. Uh, last we go, we will go to stability. Actually from, from uh, this zero impulse, we can know the stability of our system. Whether our system is stable or not. Okay, uh, any question uh, regarding uh, how to plot, how to plot zero and poles? Okay, what is zero, what is pole? Zero is the value of S when uh, our transformation equal to zero. Pole 
is the value of s uh, when the Fibonacci equal to infinity. Okay, zero. Value of s when the Fibonacci equal to zero. Holds. The Fibonacci equal to infinity. So to get the Fibonacci equal to zero, we just take uh, top part, lah, numerator part. Kita ambil yang numerator part, we equal to zero. So equal to zero, then we, we will get the value of zero. Here. Okay, for this one, let's say for this one. Ah. Okay. For this one, we take to, to find, to, let's say to find a zero. Okay, we take this one, we equal to, to zero. So we get uh, z, z, z. Okay, for uh, to get a value of pole, this one equal to zero. So we get pole, pole one, pole two, and pole three. Then from this value, we plot, we plot uh, on the S plane. Yeah, yes, S plane. Okay, this one we explain. We plot it on the explain. Okay, zero. We use a zero symbol for poles. We use x symbol for pole. Okay, then we plot. Okay.